Mr. Notestein here. I thought I'd share with you quickly a tip for the AP Computer Science Principles exam, specifically the Explore task. Uh, one thing that you may not have noticed or you may have done incorrectly is that there is a Criteria 7 and it asks for you to provide inline citation of at least three attributed sources. So you have to have at least three, that's a minimum, within the written response, and the citations must be used to justify the response. It also clarifies that and says students must provide attributions for the sources of information, either by saying according to, including the name of a source and or link, or quoting and put, putting a numerical a numeral next to the citation. So I'm going to show you quickly how to do that with Google Docs. So I have a Google Doc open here, AP Computer Science Principles, Explore Exam. Uh, theoretically, I would have a bunch of things written here, ready to go. Uh, let's say I'm doing the Microsoft HoloLens, and there is a great uh, paragraph on the Microsoft site that explains the HoloLens. So I like this. And if I was going to use that verbatim, one way I could do that is I would first copy my link on the Microsoft site, and I would say according to and the link, and then I could go ahead and I could cut and paste this, and by verbatim I mean word for word, I could copy this. If I do that, if I use something word for word, I put it in quotes, and boom, I now have an in-text citation with according to. If I wasn't gonna do this word for word, Microsoft HoloLens is the first self-contained, enabling you to engage with your digital content. If I just wanted to summarize that, I could say uh, according to, and the link, Microsoft Microsoft HoloLens lets you interact with your digital content. Now I've still cited that information. You may not think you have to do that because you've summarized uh, something, but I used this information, that's where I got that information, so I'm still citing it. There's actually an easier way to do this. Let's say that I still summarize this information, and of course if I used it word for word I'd have it in quotes, but let's say I just summarize that information. An easier way to do this is I summarize it, and right afterwards I go down here to Explore on the Google Docs, and I click it, and you get a little search engine, and I'm gonna look up the Microsoft HoloLens. This literally is Google, and so I've Googled Microsoft HoloLens. Let's do that again. There we go, and I'm not gonna click on the link, I'm gonna click on these little quote marks, cite as footnote, and when I click it, it's, you see it puts a number one in my document, but better than that, at the bottom of my document, it now made a proper citation for me, a footnoted citation. So that would be one, and so you could keep track, obviously, you know that you have to have three, so you better have at least three, but I would let Google do your work for you. And if, remember that if I had this in quote, if I use it word for word, I would of course have it in quotations. If I summarize it or paraphrase it, paraphrasing is when you take something that's written and you put it in your own words, but it's the same length so you just change the words around if I summarize or paraphrase I would of course just do it this way and if I use it word for word I'd put it in quotations so that's how to properly do citations for the AP computer science principles explore task make sure you have these correct there's only seven points on the explore task and you surely don't want to lose one of those points because you did your citations incorrectly